In this video, we'll take a look at the difference between the molecular, complete, and net ionic equations. So we start out with the molecular equation. The molecular equation is what you're used to. All of the compounds are bonded together. We don't have any ions. So this is just the molecular equation, and we would balance this when we do net ionic equations. In this case, it's already balanced, so we don't need to do that. I've written the states in here. We have aqueous, aqueous, and then the silver chloride. This is a solid. It would be a precipitate. It'd fall to the bottom of the test tube in the reaction. And then the sodium nitrate, that's aqueous. We look at these states here. We can split up these aqueous, these strong electrolytes, into their ions. And that's what gives us the complete ionic equation. So we're going to go from the molecular equation to a complete ionic equation. That's going to look like this. And to do this, you do need to know how to find the charges on each of these ions. We left the silver chloride together as a solid here. We left it together as a solid in our equation. We don't split solids, liquids, or gases apart in net ionic equations. There are two ways you could know this was a solid. If you've memorized the solubility rules and you know that silver chloride is kind of one of those exceptions to chlorides, this is insoluble. Most chlorides are soluble. Or you could look it up on this solubility table if you're allowed to have one of these. We have our silver right here and our chloride. And this I means that it's insoluble. So silver chloride will be a solid. It'll be a precipitate. So for our complete ionic equation, it has all of the strong electrolytes split up. All the soluble compounds are split up into their ions. And then the solid, that's left together as a solid. Note that I didn't write the states in here just to make it a little easier to see. Once we have this complete ionic equation, we can now get the net ionic equation. And we do that by crossing out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I can see in the reactants, I have sodium here and then again in the products. That means it's a spectator ion. I can get rid of it. Same with the nitrate. I have the NO3 minus here, and then I have an NO3 minus here in the products. Those are the spectator ions. You can think about it this way. You start the reaction out and you have sodium ions and nitrate ions in your beaker. Once the reaction takes place in that same beaker, you still have sodium and nitrate ions. They haven't changed. We're not interested in those. We get rid of those. That gives us our net ionic equation. So we had our molecular equation. We got the complete ionic. We crossed out the spectator ions, and that left us with the net ionic equation. So that's the difference between the molecular, complete, and net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.